So we're recording this live early and that means it's going to post by the time it's 8.30 so you can watch it at 8.30 or maybe you're just discovering that I'm doing this right now and you're tuning in. Um, I couldn't resist doing this evening closing uh, in this place. It's just magnificent. The lighting is magnificent and there's this sort of, you know, strange vibration of of calm and beauty and and yet sort of the imminence of, of storm and and really as we come to the end of today with another uh, healing meditation or healing moment at 830 except at 8 o'clock um, I couldn't think of a better place so before it gets dark we're gonna do this right here right now my doggy is with me and I don't know, I don't know how she's going to handle uh, the meditation that I want to do with you. But she is, she's patient and she's wise. And uh, gosh, I wish you could see uh, the mountains that I can see here in the distance. It's pretty remarkable. <sighs> so, make yourself comfortable wherever you are. You're going to want to have a straight spine, and uh, it's okay if you lay down or sit down in a moment. I'm actually just going to sit right down on the ground. And as you let your eyes close and you connect with your breath, I'm going to encourage you to take some pretty big exhales. In fact, if they need to be vigorous, let them go. Let them go. So, uh, <coughs> I'm getting notes that some people have sound and some people have no sound. That means everyone has sound, they just haven't figured it out. So I have to continue, I'm sorry. Um, but you want to imagine that you're really using a vigorous breath just to shade, shake off really the craziness of this world and this week. And one of the things we've been talking about in the 12 at 12s and other things I've been doing is the idea of balance. Now, the last thing that I recommend is that you find spiritual ways to escape what's going on in the world and to stay sheltered from the really important things that are unfolding, not only politically, but in terms of health, environment, and obviously in the United States right now, the very, very important issue of race and safety for all people. And yet, if we're going to be strong in our awareness, if we're going to be strong in our contribution, strong in our understanding, then we also need to find our own nourishment and our own peace. So I'm recommending that you take time as often as you need to to get centered, get grounded, and more than anything, connect with our planet. Connect with the first and most powerful healer that you will ever encounter, and that is the Earth, nature, and all her forces and creatures. So continuing, if you haven't already, with your eyes closed and your breath, pretty vigorous, releasing, whatever you need to. You can even name it in your mind, in your heart. <sighs> releasing fear. <sighs> releasing worry. And then you're going to take your hand and you're going to put it down and contact whatever you can contact. It might be the floor, the bed, the chair. In my case, it's the ground itself. But with your eyes closed and your hand experiencing the feeling of contact, imagine that you are contacting the earth. With your eyes closed and your breath now soft and regular, you want to imagine that you are connected to the earth, wherever you are. So, in your mind's eye, see yourself surrounded by a place of peace and power, 
a place that you would go to to restore yourself after the most difficult moments of your life. It could be anywhere. It could be a place you've seen before, a place that's coming to you totally new, but with your eyes closed and one hand contacting the ground, the sofa, the chair, the bed, envision that that is you in that place contacting the earth. And as you breathe deeply, slowly, you want to imagine what does it feel like to be connected to the earth, not just touch, but energy. First, feeling the way this place that you are envisioning restores you. It comes up through your hand into your body, directly into your heart. It comes in through your breath, directly into your body, directly into your heart. It's washing over you and around you. It is release and it is peace. And then, tonight, a little different, in the silence of your mind, in the silence of your heart, envisioning this place of beauty around you and your hand co contacting the ground in this place, give yourself a little time and permission just to speak to the earth. Silently in your mind, in your heart, eyes closed, and just say whatever, whatever you wish you could say to creation. It could be words of disbelief about what's going on in the world. It could be prayers for what you need. It could be expressing your fear, your love, your gratitude. But you give yourself this moment just to talk with the earth within the vision of this place in your hand contacting the ground. whatever you need and you can address the earth however you choose grandmother mother or just earth spirit God whatever it is however it is what is it you want to give over what is it you want to give up is it exhaustion is it fear is it uncertainty is it your own awareness of, of racism, sexism, privilege? Known or unknown? Things in your shadow? What is it you want to ask this earth to take from you and for you? And then tuning your attention when you're ready to the feeling of listening. Dear mother, grandmother of all, to the earth, with humility and gratitude, we thank you for your patience, your endurance, your grace, your tolerance, your beauty, your magic, your creativity. And tonight we ask for guidance. Each one of us, whoever hears this, whenever they hear this, each in their own way, as they envision themselves in a place of peace and power, their hand contacting the ground in that place, what is it you want us to know? What is it we can learn from you? And in this way, we're now just opening our hearts Simple words, simple phrases, nothing complicated. Just listen for the wisdom of the earth and sit with it. It doesn't have to be complicated or elaborate. Just be with it. And you can continue with this practice as long as you need to, seeing yourself in the place of peace and power, your hand contacting the earth, and now 
listening to what this magnificent place has to share with you, what it wants to tell you, what it wants you to know, and maybe even what it wants you to share. Let it be simple, let it be clear. And I'm going to leave you, but you can continue this process, this practice, this work. And if you like, you can even share when you finish what it is that was given to you. The words, the feelings, the message. And we can all take a look here later. So with my love and gratitude, I encourage you to stay connected to that which endures. To find peace so you can face the chaos and keep your heart open to the love and lessons that are ever present. So I love you all and thank you for joining me and have a good night. I can't shut it off.